Life hits us all. Job loss, heartbreak, illness, unexpected bills. It's like the universe has a secret stash of curveballs just for us. We get knocked down, feel lost, and sometimes it's tempting to just curl up in a ball and call it quits. But hold on, friend, because there's another way, a way powered by ancient wisdom from the legendary Stoics, those guys who knew a thing or two about facing adversity. Today, we're unlocking the secrets of the Stoic response, a battle cry that lets you not just survive, but thrive in the face of any struggle. What is the Stoic response? Picture yourself standing on a stormy cliff edge. The wind howls, the waves crash, and you're clinging to a rock for dear life. That's adversity, the storm we all face. The Stoic response is like a trusty grappling hook you throw right into the heart of that storm. It's not about ignoring the storm, it's about recognizing what you can control. Your thoughts, your actions, your attitude, and using that control to climb your way back up. The key principles, your guide through the storm. So, what are the pillars of this epic stoic response? Dichotomy of control. Draw a line in the sand. This side, yours. Your thoughts, actions, choices. That side, outside your control. Everything else. Focus on shaping your side and let the other side do its thing. You can't control the storm, but you can control how you weather it. Amor Fati, embrace what is. Yes, even the crappy stuff. Accept the challenges are inevitable. They're lessons, they're opportunities to grow stronger. Stop resisting, start flowing with the current and find the hidden power in every obstacle. Virtue is our guide. Be your own beacon in the darkness. Live with purpose, guided by virtues like courage, wisdom, justice, and moderation. These are your compass, pointing you towards the right path even when the sky is dark. Transforming struggle into opportunity. Okay, so it's all well and good to talk about stoicism, but how does it actually work? Look at Helen Keller, blind and deaf, yet a beacon of strength and inspiration. Or Viktor Frankl, surviving the horrors of Auschwitz and finding meaning in suffering. The Stoic response helped them see the opportunity hidden within their struggles to turn lemons into lemonade, not just by gritting their teeth, but by choosing a different perspective. Putting the Stoic response into action. This isn't just philosophy, it's a toolkit for everyday life. Next time you face a challenge, pause and reassess, step back, breathe, identify what's within your control and what's not. Don't react impulsively, choose your response wisely. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I grow stronger? How can I use this to become a better version of myself? Take action. Don't wallow, don't wait for the storm to pass. Channel your energy into something productive, into small steps that move you forward. Remember, you are not alone. The stoic response is a journey, not a destination. There will be times when the storm feels overwhelming, and that's okay. Seek support, build a community of fellow warriors, share your struggles and victories. Let others remind you of your inner strength and be a beacon of hope for others in their darkest moments. So, the next time life throws you a curveball, don't just dodge it, hit it out of the park. The stoic response is your weapon, your shield, your compass in the storm. Remember, you are not alone. We are all in this together, navigating the ups and downs, learning, growing, and becoming the best versions of ourselves. So go forth, fellow warriors, embrace the storm, turn struggle into opportunity, and show the world the power of the Stoic spirit. Want to learn more about Stoicism and the Stoic response? Check out the links in the description below for awesome resources, books, and even Stoic memes. And keep the conversation going in the comments. Share your struggles, your triumphs, and your journey with the Stoic response. Together, we can build a community of resilience. 
a tribe of warriors who turn adversity into fuel for a life of purpose and growth. Until next time, stay present, stay strong, and keep on stoicking.